Hi, you're face to face with Shell. In this video I want to talk about flashbacks and nightmares that you can get once you have been through a traumatic experience. I still get these but they are very few and far between now. By starting this new channel and website it's thrown up a lot of things that I thought were hidden. Um, there's yeah, memories will come back and I'll think, wow, I thought you were gone, but they've been popping up. So by doing this, has been a, a kind of therapy for me. When I was first admitted to the Burns Unit, I would replay over and over again what had happened to me. Until one day, my mum had said, right, that's enough thinking. This is what I used to call it. I used to say, right, I just need time to think. I'm going to have thinking time. And my parents was obviously saying that it wasn't doing me any good and it was upsetting me. So she had just said, right, that, that's enough. Um, eventually, I, I did stop doing it because it's not really doing us any good. I think it's part of human nature. We do go over and replay things again in our head. But it's not taking it away. It's not solving anything. And I just think we're doing ourselves inside a, a bit more damage. There, there was one vision I got in hospital um, and I, I call him the welder because that is what he looked like. When the medical team would turn me around on my right side and the door was behind me, sort of over my shoulder I could see this vision of a welder um, with his mask on and he had his blowtorch and he was coming in to burn me. And this went on for quite a while. Um, I don't know why I never said to anyone, um, I probably should have done, I don't know if it was maybe the medication or if it was just my fears coming to, to the surface, I don't know. But it's probably something that I maybe should have said. It, it did go away but it was very, very vivid. I don't have dreams about the explosion anymore as such um, but I still do have very vivid dreams where others are being burned, so it's not me anymore, but I've had some quite um, traumatic dreams and very vivid dreams of others being burned. Um, I've had a couple recently and they do affect me into the next day and I, I try to think where have they came from. Because I am quite a vivid dreamer though, if I've been watching something on television or someone's been talking about something during the day, I can be sure I will dream about it that night. So I try to keep things positive, especially the few hours before I'm ready to go to bed. There's obviously, there can be scars deep inside of us and their memories. And there are different ways that we can deal with these when they surface. Um, I find if I'm having quite vivid and traumatic dreams, maybe just try and have a relaxing bath at night. Um, not a hot bath, a warm bath um, with some lavender oil in it or a, a lavender scented candle. Or I've found if I have difficulty sleeping, rub lavender oil on the soles of your feet. It might sound a bit weird, but it really does help. It sort of By doing it on the soles of your feet, it goes through your body. Also play meditation music at night and there's loads on the internet, so just give it a Google and find your favourite one. Mine is The Sound of Rain. absolutely love it. So see if you can find a favourite one for you to just help you relax. Of course, I'm not professional and I'm only sharing my experiences and my ideas. So if you feel that you're really not coping, um, please see a, a health professional who could refer you for more specialised treatment. We're all different and never ever be ashamed to ask for help. We all need help at some point in our lives. I think that's what makes us human. I really hope that it's helped in some way. Um, I'll be doing a video in Spain shortly. I'll be taking you back to where the explosion happened. I've been back there three times now. And by revisiting the site, I really feel that it's helped me kick those demons back to hell. I'm not saying it was a, an easy thing to do. Um, it wasn't. Um, it was my husband who encouraged me to go back to the site where the explosion happened. Um, it took me years to go back, so please don't feel, oh no, there's no way I, I could ever do anything 
like that because it took me years to go back abroad, far less to go to the place where the explosion happened. When I did go back abroad, it was to Portugal and I was then in a bus crash. But that's for another video. I know, what the chances. Anyway, um, I hope this has been some form of help for you. Stay strong, you can do this. It does get better. Thank you very much for watching and thank you once again to my new subscribers. If you've not already subscribed and you're liking what you're seeing and hearing and it's of some help to you, please give me a like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you'll never miss any videos. As I said, we're about to go to Spain maybe in the next sort of week or so and there'll be a lot of different videos coming out then. So please don't miss them. Thank you very much again. Chat soon. Bye.